This is the most important piece of equipment for any RC racing enthusiast. Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk to you about what I believe is one of the most important pieces of equipment for any RC racer. Ask any RC enthusiast that deals with LiPo batteries and they'll tell you they can be bloody dangerous. And if we don't take real care of how we use these batteries, the consequences, well, they can be catastrophic. Unfortunately, I'm speaking from first-hand experience. And a few years ago, while my dad was still flying model aeroplanes, a LiPo fire, which started in the bedroom, ripped through the whole house and it left a trail of destruction in its wake. It was absolutely devastating. So now that I'm back in this wonderful hobby, I was extremely cautious and extremely worried about purchasing LiPo batteries because when I raced last time, LiPos weren't around as an option. As always, I did a little bit of research and I went down to my local hobby shop, Inside Line Models, to have a chat about LiPo batteries. After having a chat with Paul, this is what he recommended, the bat safe. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at this protective storage and charging box. Now this one is called the bat safe mini and it's the smallest in a range of sizes now inside here you can safely charge and store up to two 3s batteries with a 2200 milliamp capacity or the equivalent of 50 watt hours for me this is perfect right now but as i add more batteries you can bet your bottom dollar that i'll be adding bigger bat safes to my equipment so this is the smallest in a range of bat safes. Now with the standard bat safe, which is the size up from this one, you can charge and store up to two 6S batteries with a 5,000 milliamp capacity, the equivalent of 222 watt hours. And then after that one, there's an even bigger bat safe. That's the XL and you can store up to four of those 6S batteries and in total an equivalent of 500 watt hours. The bat safe is a double walled insulated steel box with a flame arrester and it'll contain a fire in the unlikely event of a LiPo fail while charging. So on the top we can see that it's got these holes here. These are actually vents and below that is a filter. And this helps disperse smoke, fumes and soot. There's also a hole here that we can't quite see yet but we can feed our cables through there to safely charge our batteries. Now, if we look to the side here, we've got a sprung latch, which seals and unseals the bat safe. Opening up the bat safe, you can see that it's got this thick insulating wall to protect our batteries inside. If we take this bung out, I might need to do it one at a time, but if we take this bung out, we can take our charger, and we can feed our wires through here. Push this down here. And then from the other side, we can pull the tabs. And this seals our charging cables in. So now that it's like that, when we want to charge, we can take our LiPo. And pop it in. Place our charging cables into the battery and seal it up using the catch. Press start, select the mode that you want and away you go. If you take a look on the BatSafe website, people have actually left testimonials about how this little steel tin has minimized the potential destruction of a battery fire. You can also see videos of tests that have been carried out with the BatSafe and you can actually see how much smoke these boxes contain. It's crazy. I'll leave some links in the description for you to check that out. Don't get me wrong. There are other options available and some come in at a lower cost. And I guess a lot of people will think it will never happen to me. I charge and discharge my batteries safely and responsibly. But would you really want to risk it? All it takes is a quick online search to see how quick these LiPo battery fires can spread. And it's lethal. Now for the BatSafe Mini, I paid $34.99. I feel with this that I have added protection and a peace of mind that I'm doing all I can to protect my loved ones and my property. And knowing that is just priceless. Don't forget that if you charge in the pits as well at race meetings, you will need to do this safely. And the bat safe is one way to do that. Obviously there are other things like charging bags, but for me, 
I know what I'm choosing. Everyone, I hope that's given you a little bit of food for thought. And part of growing this wonderful hobby that we all love is keeping each other safe. Help the channel grow. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Leave us a comment down below. Here's some more videos for you to watch and I'll see you over there.